welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on this new i heart revolution palette now this is the love spells palette so this is the halloween palette and there was another palette that went with this and i think you could get two for 20 but um it just kind of wasn't me it was too dark and not something i would wear so this was 12 pounds and just looks like this so you've got some pinks you've got some purples you've got some lovely greens in there so i think you've got like quite a few different shades when i first looked at it for some reason I'm, i think it might be like the pink of the packaging i thought oh my god it looks a bit like the morphe jeffree star palette but i think it's probably because of the pink background you've got like that random green in jeffree's palette and then some pinks so you know the more i look at it the less i see of that but I do see like there's loads of different colours so I feel like with this palette you could go a couple of different ways so you could go like with the purples or you could go with the greens there's neutrals so I think there's a lot of things you can do with it so there are 18 shades in the pal in this palette and I think what's quite interesting about it is that only six are matte so some of I Heart Revolution's shimmers are really good like the mini tasty palettes and I've done a review on the watermelon palette and um, those are really good shimmers so I'm hoping this is like the same formula because if it is it'll be absolutely bomb if it's like just the standard revolution palette you know like shimmer formula it might not be that great but you know we will give it a try today so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to zoom you in and put some base on with there only been six mattes in here you know a little bit stuck for choice over what to put in the crease so there's only like these two shades really like this kind of beigey color and then a brown colour. So I'm going to go in with the light beige first. That is in the shade Sublime. And I'm just going to put that in the crease. So that's that sublime colour on there and I think it looks like very beige in the pan and then when it's on the lids it looks more like corally. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of that Luna as well and just amp it up a little bit. Luna shade in there and I've literally just stuck it in the socket line I probably need to blend it up a little bit more on this side as well so I was like thinking right okay where do I want to go with this palette because it's got so many beautiful colors in it and I was like oh I don't know because I was I was thinking I usually do like a pink eye but I'm not going to do pink but I think I'm going to go in with this cosmic shade here and have a nice bright lid and then feed it into this beloved shade
the two shades on I think they actually look really good and um, they've got quite a bit of pigment to them and they didn't take that much to build up the only shade so far I've had some fallout with was actually that um, bronzed shade which is pretty good because um, usually I get fallout from everything so now what I want to do is I actually want to add a bit more colour to the outer kind of crease colour and I'm going to use the darker shade in this palette which is called magic wand I couldn't even say that for a second up that outer corner I just went and put some um, liner on some lashes I'm still wearing my half lashes from Primark and they were like one pound I've used them about five or six times and they are like so good so I've got those on and yeah just put some bronze on and that so we just need to do lower lash line and inner corner so it's like right okay where where do we go Um, I do like the fact that this look is kind of like neutral warm but I'm dying to try like this colour. I might just put like a little bit of this under my lash line. Just like a little bit, not a lot. looks really pretty and it's not overpowering it kind of goes with like the crease colors so what I'm gonna do now is I don't know what's been happening whether it's like the liner that I'm using or my mascara or whatever but I'm finding that my um I think it's my liner it's transferring very quickly like into you know my under eye so I want to instead of using liner I want to use shadow so I'm just going to go in with that magic wand shade again and just put a small amount of it under my lower lashes sure whether that looks dark enough to be liner but at least it's a gradient on that pinky shade which I think is pretty cool so I actually use that lighter shade cosmic for my lid so what there isn't like a lighter color to put in the inner corner so what I'm actually gonna do is nip into this primer neon palette now I have got a video on this so we'll link in the description box because it's got a really pretty duo chrome shade here and it was blinding when I put it on the other day so I'm just gonna put that in in the crease and uh, not in the crease in the inner corner and I'm going to put some on my cheeks as well I did just put like a tiny bit on the brow bone as well but I think this is a really pretty look it's kind of like a neutral with like a warm kind of undertone to it but there are so many shades in this palette like I say you know you could do like this kind of look put a pop of purple in put some green in you just switch out a couple of shades it's not just a neutral palette you know it's got some other pops in there and I quite like the formula of the two shimmers that I use so I hope this is like a sign that Makeup Revolution are going to start in you know bettering their like shimmer formula 
but to be fair the shimmer formula that I like so far have all been the I Heart Revolution palettes so you know who knows maybe it's just them palettes that are going to be really good so anyway I'm going to leave you with some swatches now and I will see you again shortly bye